like the 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 J the, 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 the reality is there's a lot of women out there that know how to finesse a man and rub on his back, scratch his neck. She she'll make him a sandwich at two a.m. She does what she needs to do until her claws is done. Claws in. Yep. When them claws is in. Yep. And then once she's in, and once she's got you, once she's got you locked in, and once you can't divorce her, or she's taking half, she's taking half your two hundred and fifty million dollars. And once she's in, it be, then she becomes who the fuck she always was. Yeah, and that's the difference. I, I think that's why she can't even. <laughs> she I got it in. Say it's more appreciative to be an Ebony K, because at least she's showing you who she is up front. Mm-hmm. Which one? You know what I'm saying? Because if Ebony is saying that this is how I am, I'm this. You know, I want I'm, I want full autonomy, and I want to be. And and you could be like, okay, well, you know what? Well, damn, at least you keeping one hundred. I could deal with that. But then you got the other woman who's rubbing on you, soft, sucking your dick when you want to, swallowing, doing all the extra shit what? in the dating phase, and then she fucking locks you in, gets you, spits out a kid, and then she fucking says, "Fuck it, now I'm gonna be who I want." And what you gonna do about it, nigga? That shit. We didn't. We gonna go back and forth about this. How many of them is doing this, bro? Bruh, bruh. How many of them is pulling this bait switch, bro? Yo, bro, Sweeney could tell you. I, bro, I, I literally just escaped one of those a year ago, bro. That's oh, the whole yeah. Wait, wait. Who just said that? Who just said that? Marcus, you got lucky, Marcus. They out there. It, it's a it's a legion uh, of them out there, Marcus. The legion. Marcus. Wait, who yeah. who just said they got bait and switched? I got to ask you some questions now, if you oh, don't mind. Dude, she's oh, not I won't mind. cry at all if you don't. You, you, feel, you feel like answering some of these questions? Hey, I got no problem with answering these questions. I want to save all brothers. Right. I like Ebony, who's destroying these young sisters by giving them all this bullshit. Uh, we want to straighten out the brothers. So. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you first met her, you what, what would you describe her personality as? Oh, accommodating, sweet. Um, very, very, uh, what would I say? Uh, submissive. Um, mm. she's probably soft. She probably talked to you, oh, right? Yeah. 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 She him, right? She so all of those things, <laughs> how, how often did you see her, uh, weekly? Um, well, we were, this is the thing. It was a long distance relationship. So, okay. um, I'd say twice a month, two, three times a month. Now you can get here with the bait and switch on the long distance. How often did you talk to her on the phone? Every fucking day. All day. Pretty much. Did did she fight a lot with people in her family? Yes. That was the red flag right there. That, that oh, right bro, there. Bro, bro, bro. The, the 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 you know the, the game was tight. <laughs> the game was tight. So the red flags were there. But okay. the game was so tight. The other soft skills, the chameleon skill set is fucking intense. So yeah. <laughs> well, so the reason I, the reason I asked you that is the best way to see somebody is to not look at them. How do they treat other people, right? How do they treat their family? How do they treat their best friend? Why don't they have a best friend? Why did they last four relationships with their girlfriends fail? Why her and her brother don't get along? Why her and her mom don't see eye to eye? Why, if you if you interpret all of those relationships, you can start to develop and extrapolate some type of a pattern as to the way her brain works. So she feels like I always say this: it's like three type of women, right? It's the women that want to get even. It's the women that may get even, and the women who just disappear and don't want to get even. I I prefer to only date the women that have disappeared. The women that's fifty fifty, you're not sure. You may get hit. You may not get hit back. The women that get even, you need to run run as far and as fast away from them as you possibly can. So in a relationship with her family, like her, her mother or whatever, and she's constantly fighting with her mom or her mom say something and she can't let it go, can't be the bigger person, can't, can't, you know what I'm saying? Like back up out the situation, like, all right, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there with you because I see you want to argue. If she engage in an argument, leave, leave. Because she, the people that mean the most to her in her life, how she's treating them when you mean the most and even more, she's going to treat you even worse because if she loved them, she's going to love you harder. And the way she fight with them, she's going to fight with you harder. Yeah, I was going to say, go ahead. I learned all those lessons well. <laughs> and I will be the cautionary tale for brothers in the future. And yeah, I'm old enough to know uh, I had I was in school when they taught home ec and all those other soft skills too. So, um, but yeah. Um, brother, trust and believe. 
never again. Never. And and one thing I do did learn, and this is something that um that that that's real important is what you just said, Marcus. The red flags matter. And you can't overlook those red flags. And when you look at those interpersonal relationships with other people, you know what I'm saying? The one thing she had in her favor is that she was vouched for by somebody I trusted. And that was one of the different things. But like I said before, like like I said before, you didn't say anything wrong, bro. Everything you said was exactly how it played out. And so that's why I just kindly closed that door. And like you said, there's something about the ones that want to get even. Because even when you close that door, shit ain't over. <laughs> shit ain't over. Yeah, no, you're right. 100% and it right. Six weeks to deal with the damage that was caused by not by, by ending something that that the ones that want to get even wasn't quite over it. So they perspective is that's the that's the thing about perspective and, and, and your personal experience. We all see things, but we all see it differently and we all interpret it differently. You could have felt like you was backing out the relationship in a good way. And you was trying to end things amicably. She can feel like you broke her heart. And if she got the spirit of wanting to get even, she gonna keep coming at you until she feel like she didn't got some type of uh, solace. Like till she feel like she been made right. And the more deranged people are, the harder it is for them to to feel like they've been made right. And they get worse and worse and worse. That's how you she show up at a uh, date you want and, and key your car, and you like I'm not even talking to her no more. It don't matter. She still feel that you heard. She still feel that, that she ain't been made right from this. She still feel she wasted time of her life. She still feel like whatever she invested in was way more than she got out of it. All of that stuff. Hey, I know I know what people be like. Oh, I don't know about the bad women. I see them and I'll be looking at them sides and getting clean away from that shit. As soon as I see them, I'm like, oh, no, you, you, you. That's the blessing of being in a long distance relationship. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about that last part. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I never trust nobody that don't get along with their family. Some people in your family, I I understand, but when you don't get along with your whole family, <laughs> with your whole family kicking it and having a good time, I'm looking at you like, what the hell wrong with you? Your family sitting over there, look happy as as, as all get out, and you the only mad one in the family. Something wrong with you. Sometimes the whole families be fucked up though. Yeah, that that's true. But Shannon, you can still see how they respond to the fucked up shit that's going on. Like mm -hmm. it, you, you can have a, oh, a dysfunctional. I'm, I'm with you, Marcus. You, yeah, they have a dysfunctional family, and then they be in there trying to be the peacemaker. Everybody in the family come to. You can even how they come to them. So and so tripping, and you hear them giving them uh advice. Well, maybe da 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 da. Or what? Fuck that bitch. I, I wish she. Look, if you hear somebody say, "I wish she run." Anyone, anytime you hear uh, somebody, I wish they would say that to me. I wish you would pull up on me. I wish you anybody that say I wish in regards to some bullshit, get the fuck away from them as quickly and as fast as you can, Joe. As quick, I wish they invite that bullshit. They invite one of the one of the lessons I learned in life, right, when I was younger, was that you have to pay attention to what people do. I tell my children all the time, just watch how they treat other people, watch their interactions, because whatever it is that they do, if somebody get up from the table and start talking um, about the other ones, trust me, your turn is coming, no matter how you look at it. Don't ever feel like you're special. Don't ever feel like you too cool with this person, because it's going to happen to you, too, because that's just how they're wired. If they do things to people that aren't warranted, it's going to happen to you, too. So Marcus is on point with that. You 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 can't ignore those red flags. Um, don't ever. And, and sometimes you can't give everyone the benefit of the doubt. As much as we want to, we want to give people the benefit of the doubt. But when people prove themselves to be a certain way, you have to believe them the first time they show you who they are. One of the one of the the greatest parts or the, the main reasons why you don't put somebody up on a pedestal. Because a lot of times men will uh, like have an idea of who this woman is and then in their mind mold her to that. And since you're on a pedestal, you develop these feelings. And then when you see the red flags, you can't walk away from them because you, you've allowed yourself to have this fantasy vision of who this woman is and that give her more leeway than she needs. But if you if you take people how they are and let them show you who they are, then you can really, truly assess them. But it requires you not to put them on a pedestal. So so you you fantasizing about what they could be to you and all this other stuff.